We all know about tech support scams. Somebody contacts you pretending they're from Microsoft, charges you $100 to remove non-existent viruses from your computer. But what if the tech support scammer installs malware on your computer that allows them to hack your social media accounts and maintain access to your system? Sounds scary. Well, that's exactly what we're going to investigate today tech support scams that fool you into downloading malicious remote access tools onto your computer that gives them permanent access to monitor all of your activities. As you can see, we've navigated to a website that is up and running right now that pretends to be Morton Security. <laughs> Sound familiar? Now, I know what you're thinking. This is super funny. Why would anybody fall for this? It doesn't even say Norton. It says Morton. But you have to understand a lot of the people targeted by these scams are elderly. But if they were targeting a different demographic, it would be tailored to the kinds of things you would be likely to fall for. We have a small roadblock. We need an invoice ticket number, apparently, to access the award-winning Morton customer support. No worries, the Microsoft tech on the phone just provided me with this wonderful information, so I'm gonna enter it. And funnily enough, it says, starting refund support session. So perhaps this is what they do after taking your money. So you fall for the scam, give them your money, and then when you're like, that was a scam, can you refund me, please? They're like, oh yeah, sure, just go. <laughs> and then they download a rat to your computer. Can you believe how insidious this is? But yeah, what could go wrong? So I'm just gonna keep this file and open it. As you can see, this is a signed file and a lot of tech support tools will allow a business to create these instances where a tool can just instantly run and give them access to the system. As you can see, now we have the agent active and running in the background. You can see it in the taskbar, this little icon here that's looking like Norton, except with a white background. But if we open this, you can see that it's waiting for an agent. It didn't ask me anything, the moment I ran this file, it just starts a remote session and gives them access to my computer. If they wanted, they could just sign in at any point. And I think by now you can see the problem. It is ridiculously easy for someone to start one of these sessions. There isn't an awful lot within the application UI itself that's going to tick you off. So if you're the type of person who is susceptible to a scam like this, you're likely gonna be susceptible enough to open this tool and not fully realize what it does. And if it looks simple to you, just remember we're looking at it in a virtual machine. There aren't a lot of other programs. We have all our attention fixated on this. But if you're a senior citizen with messed up desktop and 20 programs running in background, do you even notice? Now we're going to do a deeper analysis of the application itself. First, we're going to look at it in Process Explorer. As you can see, we have this service over here that says click once and it belongs to the Microsoft Corporation. At least I can exit out of it directly from the UI. Well, can I? Well, it did there, but I believe the process is still running, so that's scary. Also not detected on Vars Total, because I believe it is a Microsoft process legitimately. Now, this is not the actual application. If we go ahead and kill this and relaunch the application, you're gonna see what happens very quickly. So when we run this, you see there is this process called connectwisecontrol.client.exe, which is actually detected in Vars Total. But within seconds, this is going to terminate. And then all you're gonna be left with is this. So unless you had Process Explorer active and running while the program was launched, there would be no way for you to even know that there was anything potentially malicious on your computer. Now, if we look at the detections for the original file, you can see that this is detected by just a few engines. The most accurate detection award goes to Kaspersky here because it says not a virus heuristic monitor Win32 connect wise. So it's a very accurate detection exactly what this thing is. It's not a traditional virus, but it is a remote access tool that in this case is being used maliciously. Now, if we go back to Process Explorer, you can see that the original process that had these detections has now disappeared. So we're left with a clean slate. And in the background, the scammers could be stealing your info. You might also want to check your system for any kind of background remote access capabilities, especially your auto runs and schedule tasks. Even if you do use remote access, it shouldn't be running automatically in the background. That's a massive red flag. Hopefully that establishes how dangerous some of these tech support scams can be and how far they can go. 
if you know anyone who has fallen for one of these in the past, it might be worth checking their computer and making sure you don't have anything like this running in the background. You don't have a Morton customer support client on hold. I know tech support scams are funny, they're entertaining, but the reason they keep happening is because they work. And every login credential that they manage to steal nets them more money on the dark web. So they've got this double profit motive. They make money directly by scamming you, then they make money off of selling your identity. And they'll happily do this to old people, to disabled people with no remorse. So I really hope you found this video helpful. Please share it with your family, your friends, anyone you think might be susceptible to these types of attacks. It's important to spread awareness about these things because the things that may seem intuitive to you as a tech person may not be intuitive to somebody else. Let me know in the comments if you've had a similar experience. And once again, please like and subscribe helps me out massively. And now to our sponsors. One of the ways to block such online threats would be to use Guardio, a web extension that monitors all the sites you visit and flags suspicious activity. We're going to visit a similar tech support scam website here that's going to drop a rat onto our computer. And as you can see, Guardio blocks it instantly. And this is thanks to the real-time protection that is offered for browsing. It is also able to block potentially dangerous downloads. So even if we were to allow the site to load, it would still block the download of the rat. This can also block phishing websites, as we'll find out as we try a link from Fish Tank. Cardio can also block malicious extensions from being installed and prevent websites from setting up unwanted notifications. If you've come across a random notification from your browser when you're not even using the internet and you're wondering where's that coming from, well, websites now can set up notifications with Edge or Chrome. And if you're not careful, you can have tons of adware-ish pop-ups. Cardio can help you clean that up. They can also scan your email for leaks. So you know if you've been part of a data breach, you can also prevent a search engine hijack or any kind of malicious add-on. You can try it out using the link in description. Go to guard.io slash PC security to get 50% off the first month and a free trial. Thank you so much for watching. This is Leo and as always, stay informed, stay secure.